Alright, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites out here once again, another beautiful weekend to prophesy the total destruction and downfall of your beloved country, America, aka Babylon. First of all, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shot. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to the elect brothers out there. All you real brothers out there that's pushing this truth through the spirit of power, you have about Shimei was shot. All right, today we're going to get into some prophecies. We're going to start off with 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Why does it say that the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night? What does a thief in the night do? A thief in the night what? It creeps up on, creeps up on you. You don't know which way he's coming. You don't know where he's coming from. You don't know when he's coming. All you know is that what, what? When a thief come and break into your house, you've been hit. That's the same way the Lord is going to do you people out here, especially two-thirds of you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans here in America and abroad. The Lord is going to catch you off guard, or as they say in the hood, he's going to catch you slipping. Sleep. You see what I'm saying? Like bro said, catch you sleep. Why? Because you're not awake to the fact of what's going on out here in this world. That's why the Bible said that the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. Does a thief warn you when he's coming? No. He just hit your house, take all your goods, and leave. That's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to hit this house known as America, take all his goods, and guess what? Leave. See what I'm saying? Why? Because you people are not paying attention. People are not paying attention to what's going on in your surroundings. The scripture tell you, be ye circumspect. Not as fools, but as wise. Meaning what? Look around your surroundings. Be aware of what's going on. Go ahead, bro. He says, but ye brethren are not in darkness. Wait, uh, wait, wait. wait. Verse 3, I'm sorry. Are you good? Right. Well, they, this is verse, uh, second on this five. First Thessalonians 5 verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. What are they saying right now? Everything is in a good case. Gas is at an all-time low. You see what I'm saying? What uh so-called people are getting jobs, which is a lot because why? Walmart is fitting close over a hundred some stores, Macy's is laying off, all kind of businesses are letting employees go. See what I'm saying? But like you say, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is coming. So that means what? Like you said, the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. So while you people seem to think yourself to be in a good case, guess what? Sudden destruction is coming. The government right now is trying to pass a law to give all power to the president to where he could deem martial law at any time he want, any place in the world. See what I'm saying? That's that sudden destruction that's coming. Because you people are not paying attention to what's going on in the world, man. All you people are worried about is what? The Powerball, the Super Bowl that's coming up. See why you people are getting ready for the Super Bowl. Money. Yep. Say it again, bro. Women, money. See what I'm saying? Said. Why you people are getting geared up for the Super Bowl, these wicked elite bankers, these crackers, are gearing up to pass more and more laws to throw you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans, the children of Israel, into more bondage and slavery to kill y'all. You see what I'm saying? That's right, bro. You think this white man is your friend just because he gave you a little job making a couple of bucks? You see what I'm saying? Or, or, or giving you the power ball where you can win a million or two, two million dollars? You thinking this white man is your friend? Well, really, he just lulling you to sleep so he can chop your head off. Yeah, bro. Uh other country in the world is gearing up for war except America. That's right. We we up here worrying about our next uh, twerk video or our next status on social media or, or all this other nonsense and all the countries across the earth is, is gearing up for war. That's why we're going to be taking down so easy, man. That's right. The Lord is preparing us for this big takedown that's going to happen in America, man. That's right. He's preparing the people by dumbing us down and, and making us Salt. I don't set the elect brothers and sisters out here, man. We the only one that's going to really get through this. That's right. You know? That's right, bro. Skip, all right, go to uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 2. 
said Second Thessalonians? Yeah, two and two. Uh, well, actually, you started verse one. Two and one. This is Second Thessalonians, verse two, verse, starting verse one. Now we beseech you, brethren. Who is that t talking about? The elect of Israel. That's the only brethren is your Negro, Latino, Native American, the children of Israel. But it's mainly talking to who? The elect. Go ahead, bro. By the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, by our gathering together unto him. See? How together and being unto him is about what? When we come out here on the highways and byways and preach his word, trying to fish for the elect and doing videos. See, we out here fishing for the elect. That's how we uh, doing the gathering for you. How about shooting out with shot? Go ahead, bro. That ye be not soon shaken in mind. See, that's why we out here to exhort and lift you brothers up. That you don't be soon shaken in mind, because Jacob's trouble is coming. Go ahead, bro. Or be troubled. Neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us. As that day of Christ is at hand. See? The day of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's return, is at hand. Meaning what? It is nigh. Matter of fact, get Romans, uh, what is it? 13 and 11. Yep, Romans 13 and 11. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time that now is is it is high time to awake out of sleep. That's what, we, that's what we out here telling you people, to awake out of that stupor, that blindness. Take that veil off your face and see what's going on out here in the world, man, so you can be prepared when you have about shooting out a shot return. And what we're telling you, come back to the law and the commandments before it's too late. Go ahead, bro. So, that's almost a precept of what we read. You know, the Lord coming in the thief of the night. He telling you guys to wake up so you won't get caught when he come, man. <laughs> That's what's happening right there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. What was it, verse 11? Yeah, 13 and 11. It said, and that, knowing the time that now is the high, it is high time to awake out of sleep. But now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. See, we, we ain't looking at the Lord coming back 10 or 15 years from now. We're looking for the Lord to return any day now. It ain't like it was 20 years ago when we had time to plan out for our future. No, the time is at hand where we have to prepare for ourselves, Lord willing to be delivered by your how by shooting out with shot. So how do you get yourself prepared? By coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments of this Bible. Try to keep the laws and commandments to the best of your ability. You see what I'm saying? Not being involved with this world, man, with all the things that's going on in this world. See what I'm saying? What's another distraction that's coming up real soon? The state fair. You see what I'm saying? All you people, man, your mind is not on the Lord. Your mind is on the things of, of the cares of this world. And the scripture tell you what? Uh, the love of this world is enmity with the Most High. Meaning what? You become an enemy to the Most High when you fall into the cares of this world. When you don't focus on the law, statute, commandment to the Bible. See what I'm saying? That's why a lot of you niggas that, that claim you Israelites are unruly niggas, man. Why? Because you have no fear of the Lord. See what I'm saying? You're not preparing yourself for the Lord's return. You're trying to stay here another 30 or 40 years. You want to see your kids grow up. Instead of focusing on what? Being in the kingdom. Why? Because y'all don't have a rulership mentality. You love being slaves here. See what I'm saying? Romans 11, I mean 13, verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And what is that armor of light? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this Bible right here. 